In the days leading up to your Royal Caribbean cruise, you'll begin packing, and we've got the top 10 worst cruise packing mistakes to share up next. Hey everyone, it's Matt from Royal Caribbean Blog, and I've got to say, whether it's your first cruise or 20th, packing isn't easy. Mistakes happen, and I wanted to share the top 10 cruise packing mistakes not to make. Number one, bringing a prohibited item. Probably the most common packing mistake is packing something that Royal Caribbean prohibits you from taking on board. Alcohol, drugs, weapons, and more are not allowed. Be sure to check the list of what is and what is not allowed to be brought on board a Royal Caribbean cruise on Royal Caribbean's website. Number two, putting important documents in your checked luggage. You may already know that it's really important to bring proper documentation with you on a cruise, like a passport or a birth certificate, but be sure not to put it in your checked luggage. The luggage you give the porters at the cruise terminal that'll be delivered to your stateroom will take hours to get to your room, but you need to check in for your cruise in between then. If your passport is in your checked luggage, it means a big problem with checking into your cruise. Be sure to always carry your import documents with you or put it in a carry-on bag. The number three cruise packing mistake is not protecting against leaks. If you're particular about the brand of shampoo, soap, or other important liquids or gels that you need, be sure to guard against leaks that can ruin your clothes and other objects in your luggage. Luggage gets tossed around easily, and if something explodes, it can really mess things up. Consider getting a TSA approved and leak proof container or simply put these items in a Ziploc bag. Number four, bringing medicine. Yes, you wanna bring some. If you have medicine you need to take regularly, be sure to first and foremost, bring enough, not just for the duration of your cruise, but for a few days thereafter. You never know if you'll encounter a travel delay either before or after, or even during your cruise. And in addition, be sure to keep your medicine in your carry-on bag. Just like the travel documents we talked about earlier, this guard against a lost bag, creating a health issue with not having enough medicine. So always keep any important medicine with you at all times on embarkation day. Number five, forgetting formal wear. In the grand scheme of forgetting important pieces of clothing, I think forgetting formal wear as well as clothing to wear out at night is an easy one to overlook. Now, despite the name, 419 isn't as formal as you might think, but you do need to have clothing to wear that looks nice and is appropriate for the themed evenings of your cruise. What you want to do is consult a past cruise compass for your ship and sailing to get an idea of what themed evenings will be offered and then pack accordingly. The number six cruise packing mistake is not unpacking soon enough. Once you get in your cabin and your luggage is delivered, be sure to unpack to prevent clothes from getting wrinkled. It's really easy to leave your bags packed for a while as you explore the ship, but neglecting clothes that can wrinkle easily, especially for clothes you're gonna wanna need on the first night of your cruise, can lead to some embarrassing moments later on. Remember, there is no self-service laundry or irons on Royal Caribbean, so you need to unpack sooner than later. The number seven cruise packing mistake is overpacking. I admit it. I'm an overpacker and I do it often, but the idea here is to avoid going overboard with packing. To avoid overpacking, download a packing list, use packing cubes for better organization, and think through exactly what you really will and will not need for your cruise. The number eight cruise packing mistake is forgetting a jacket. I'm guilty of this one all the time because I live in Florida where it's generally warm year round. But if you're taking a cruise in the winter months or perhaps a cruise up north, it's easy to overlook bringing a jacket with you. Cold fronts do actually occur in the tropics, and of course, cruises to Canada and New England, even in the fall months, can still get pretty chilly. Consider bringing a lightweight, easy to roll jacket that's still warm with you. Number nine, socks. This is totally one I have failed at time and time again. Bring enough socks of various varieties, dress socks, athletic socks, low cut, whatever, Bring the kind of socks for formal night as well as activities on board and on shore. Keep in mind that activities like ice skating or rock climbing require you to bring your own socks. And athletic socks are easily overlooked when planning a warm Caribbean cruise. And I'll also add athletic shoes because in a lot of cases for tours and certain activities, you need closed toed shoes. And our last cruise packing mistake is forgetting to leave out something to wear on the last day. Trust me, there's always someone who misses this last tip and that is to make sure you do not pack all your clothes on the last day of your cruise. On the last night of your cruise, guests pack their bags and leave their bags out to be delivered in the cruise terminal. This makes disembarkation a whole lot easier the next morning. The issue is some people pack everything and that means they don't leave themselves a spare set of clothes to wear off the ship. It seems there's always one family who's wearing their pajamas off the ship because they forgot. 
So there you go. Top 10 cruise packing mistakes to avoid. Are there any that I missed? Are there any that you've been guilty of? Let me know in the comments below our video. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and make sure you turn on your YouTube notifications. So that way, YouTube lets you know as soon as we have a brand new video to share. This has been Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com, and we'll talk again real soon.